It was a day very similar to today. It was April 6, 2014. Just prior to 10 o'clock, Pinellas County 911 Emergency Center received multiple phone calls regarding an individual that was standing here above the Bay Pines Bridge threatening to end his life. Ray Squad 1, got a signal 46 on the uh, Bay Pines Bridge area. Yeah, I stand. we're out with the subject, top of the bridge. Deputy Savitz quickly realized the seriousness of the situation. Today, I was fortunate enough to sit down and hear more about his actions on that very day. I was on a routine patrol when I received a call for um, a suicidal subject on the Bay Pines Bridge. Myself and several other deputies responded to the area, at which time uh, we observed the uh, subject standing on the railing of the Bay Pines Bridge. Myself and Sergeant Esterline attempted to make contact with, he didn't want to talk to us. Uh, tried several times to uh, just get him to get down. At, he wouldn't. Um, at what time my Sergeant Esterline and Corporal Funk um, drew his attention while I walked around in a blind spot and uh, basically took him off the top of the bridge. Deputy Savitz was honored today by the Heartstrings for Heroes Foundation in the 2014 Patriot Ride held at Kerr's Wing House in Largo, Florida. I caught up with Wade Sabern, president of Heartstrings for Heroes Foundation, to discuss with him a little bit about why Deputy Savitz was chosen for today's honor. My name is Wade Sabern. I'm the president of Heartstrings for Heroes. Our organization basically provides music therapy to injured service men and women who have um, risked so much for our country. The people that stand out are people like uh, Troy Savitz. He's an ex-Marine and he's a deputy and he pulled a guy off a bridge from uh, committing suicide. And when I heard that story, I was like, I was really intrigued. But at the same time, when I got to talking with Troy, He's more than that. He's, he's a guy that mentors um, people that he arrests. He doesn't just arrest them and throw them in jail. He actually tries to better their lives. And they've actually phoned him back weeks later or months later and thanked him for taking the time to you know, speak with them. So it's guys like him that stand out above the rest doing such good things in the community. So those are the type of people that we look for. Um, basically, as far as the height, I'd say roughly 45, 50 feet. Um, it was low tide, so there was an oyster bed that was actually sticking up out of the water. Um, maybe a couple inches of water, um, if that there. Um, based on my experience, um, I believe that if he would have jumped, he, he would have uh, died and, um, or been severely handicapped. Uh, and uh, that's why I did what I did. Was in the United States Marine Corps for four years. Um, was with 4th Angle Co. over in West Palm Beach. Uh, Sheriff's Office in 2012. Before that, I was a police officer in St. Louis, Missouri for roughly nine years. Being in the military, um, you know, you, you have to make quick decisions and you have to act on them. Crisis intervention training, CIT. Um, you know, I went through the course. Um, the Sheriff's Office is a big believer in the CIT training. Um, you, you're able to pick up on um, indicators of the person um, and uh, make your decision based on them. Yeah, uh, the biker community is very supportive of not only each other biker, but uh, a lot of them are vets and, and law enforcement. And, uh, you know, when something's going on to do with veterans or, or an officer or, you know, law enforcement, we all pool together. I ride too. I'm at the event. Um, you know, the community, this is a community organization because we all come together and we all honor each other. And uh, I mean, that's, that's what this whole area is famous for. Um, you know, when he was in the ambulance, I was thanked for doing what I did. Um, and uh, on the way to the hospital, I was able to talk to him and uh, just kind of set his mind at ease and, you know, um, make him realize that there's more to life than this trying to end your life. You know, just working with people every day, um, it, no call is ever the same. It's always going to be different. You can never prepare yourself for what you're going to do the next day. Uh, you can just try. It was an honor for me to spend some time with both Deputy Savets and the Heartstrings for Heroes Foundation. Deputy, we thank you for all of your service and dedication 
to all of the residents here in Pinellas County. Stephen Hirschfield reporting for IONTV.com.